with Fabrizio Romano confirming Arsenal's interest in young Ukrainian starlet Mikhailo Mudrik and the player himself posting that he's watching the latest Arsenal game on his Instagram story, it seems a move for Mikhailo Mudrik to Arsenal is just inevitable. Yes, but why for boy? And today I'm discussing why I believe Arsenal should sign Mikhailo Mudrik as he would be a brilliant signing for the Gunners. As always, if you new make sure you subscribe down below on my road to 2,000 subscribers that I discuss Arsenal news pretty much every day and react to all the matches. And also leave in the comment section down below your thoughts on Mikhailo Mudrik as he has been splitting opinion. That's the main reason I wanted to make this video, right? Because it's not a clear-cut signing that everyone's going, we need to sign this player. There's a lot of people doubting it and I understand why. He comes from Shakhtar Donetsk, the Ukrainian league, Obviously, not the greatest league in the world, so it's pretty much, in that case, unproven. However, I believe he will be a brilliant signing. Let's start by talking about his age. He's 21, about to turn 22 in a week or so time, so he's a young player that can be coached. We know Arsenal now moved towards signing younger players. We've moved away from the model of signing these experienced old heads that have seemed to let us down time after time, and we are now investing our time in the youth. And I think overall, it's been a massive W doing that. We've brought in some brilliant players, the likes of the Ben Whites, the Erdegaards, for example. And they've really turned this club around because we were in the depths with these Socrateses in our club. So that's been a really good move. And we're looking to continue that by signing a young starlet. And it's about time we sign some really good talents. There's so many times where Arsenal have trained young talents, the likes of Bukayo Saka, or signed Martinelli, who wasn't necessarily a talent when we signed him. We just got super lucky and did super well scouting to sign a player like him. But to sign a proper talent, the last time we did it was, let's be honest, Erdegaard or even Pepe. And Pepe, let's be honest, went a bit pear-shaped. Let's hope Ludwig doesn't go like that. But he is a young talent, 21-22. We know Fabrizio Romano has been all over his case saying he's brilliant. Other top clubs have been interested in him and Arsenal have cemented their interest by submitting a 40 million euro plus 20 million euro bid. It was of course rejected by Shakhtar Donetsk. That's inevitable. The first bid is never really accepted, let's be completely honest, unless you're Liverpool signing Gakpo it seems. A lot of clubs will reject the first bid and we do know Arsenal's serious intentions to sign this player. And that has already been proven. You don't submit a 60 million total bid if you're not interested in that player. We seriously have some kind of interest in signing Mikhailo Mudrik. Let's move a step further. Second reason why Arsenal should sign him. Where have Arsenal and the coaches stuff let us down recently? I've been so critical of recent signings, the likes of the Ben White for 50 million, Ramsdale for 30 million. I've been scratching my head saying, why, why, why? These players have looked average at their sides. Why are Arsenal signing them? And they've proved me wrong time after time. So why am I going to go and see uh, Arsenal coaching staff this time? We clearly have a plan in place. We have a logical step to sign the players we need to sign. And if Mikhailo Mudrik is our number one target, who am I to say that's not the right player to sign? Also, third point, his directness. I really like this player. I've seen him in compilations. The way he runs with the ball, he's exactly what we need in a player. He's very similar to Saka and Martinelli. There's a lot of players and the reason why I did not like Pepe is because he slowed down the attack. Pepe received the ball and would do like hesitant, crab dribble, basically just doing anything to slow down the attack and get his skill moves going. When Mudrik picks up the ball, he's lightning. He picks up and his first thought is run. Run at the defenders and run forward. We need that. I think that'll be extremely important for our counter-attacks in the Premier League. And just in general, taking on players. I love to see lightning players that can take on people, skill moves in motion rather than just standing still and trying to be Neymar 2.0 and just skilling up people on the spot. I don't really want to see that. I'd rather see players chase people. Also, his finishing. This brother can finish, man. If you haven't seen it, watch his compilations. The closest thing I can see him to, honestly, his player comparison is Serge Gnabry. I'll be completely honest. The way he strikes that ball, it was very similar to how Nabry scored his four goals against Tottenham a couple seasons ago in the Champions League. He hits it low and hard and just drills it every time. No backlift on the ball, it just goes straight into the corner of the net. He scored a couple goals like that and they've been absolutely brilliant. Let's move on to his goal record now because a lot of people are saying, look, understandably, he's in the Ukrainian league, Shakhtar Donetsk. How can we translate that over to the Premier League, man? And I get you. So let's talk about his Champions League record. So I can think we can all agree that the Champions League is definitely no league. That's a farmer's league. Let's be completely honest. It's a brilliant cup competition. The pinnacle of club football cup competitions. In six group stage matches for Shakhtar Donetsk, he has got three goals and two assists. How can that be a bad return? 
That is a brilliant return, especially for a winger, not even a striker. To get three goals and two assists in a top club competition is outstanding. And even had Real Madrid in his group as well. Let's not forget that. Who were the previous holders of the Champions League. Let's compare this to someone like Erling Haaland, for example. He was at RB Salzburg in the Austrian League. When Dortmund signed him, they were all saying, OK, great, they've signed Haaland, but he comes from the Austrian League. But he was doing it in the Champions League. That's where the hype came from. Mudrik is doing it in the Champions League. He's doing it consistently over six games in the Champions League. How can you not sniff at that? that? That is the perfect type of player you want to see that's doing it on the big occasion, especially given that Arsenal want to reach that Champions League. So he, he has already got experience in that competition. I mean, overall, I think the thing I'd say about Mudrik is, right, he is still young and still unproven. We can all agree on that. Despite his goal record in Champions League, there's a lot of fans that will still rather Arsenal pursue someone like Jao Felix. And I understand it. I understand it's more proven. But for me, I'd rather see us sign Mudrik. He's a more exciting talent, I think. I think that Jao Felix ship has sailed. I'll be completely honest. He was a wonder kid at a time. It didn't really go through. He's looking for a revival in his career. Can Arsenal offer him a revival? Kind of like with Martin Odegaard? Of course we can. And if we do sign someone like Jao Felix, I'd be more than happy to do that. But I'd rather see us take a punt on someone like Mudrik, man. Because this kid honestly could turn out to be a top, top winger. He's getting he's getting the bad end of the stick from a lot of fans and a lot of pundits, etc. Maybe, I don't know, maybe because he's playing in the Ukrainian league. Who knows? But I really do think this kid has got a chance to be a top, top talent. We saw someone like uh, Kovic Shabella sign for Napoli, coming from Ruben Kazan. No one really knew about him. He's tearing it up in Syria. Mudrik can be a similar type of player on the wings to that. I really do believe so. And I'd love to see Arsenal pursue his signature it seems as though he's our number one target we've already had our first bid rejected but i have no doubts we'll go in for a second bid this january trends window is already hotting up it's just started and liverpool have already signed cody gakpo and arsenal have already signed uh, have already looking to sign sorry Mikhailo mudrik and it's not even january yet who knows when uh, the next deal will come around the corner but the most thing is the best thing overall is that arsenal are looking to sign players i think we can all agree on that like him or hate him, Arsenal wanting to sign these top talents. That's exactly what we need to see. We need an active Arsenal in this January transfer window as we could not let what happened last year where we signed nobody and we capitulated the top four happen this year. There's even more on the line this year because we could potentially go for the Premier League title. So we could not bottle this January transfer window. We need to sign top talents. I think Mudrik will be exactly that off the left wing, someone that can compete with Gabriel Martinelli and be a really direct and goal contributor from the wings as well because we know Gabriel Jesus will be injured for an extended period and overall we know Gabriel Jesus isn't going to score you 20 goals a season so we do need goal contributions and Mikhailo Mudrik is exactly that let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below on Mikhailo Mudrik would you like him to come to Arsenal Football Club if not who's your alternative and if you're new around here make sure you subscribe down below on my road to 2,000 subscribers I've been Wife Up and I hope to see you all in my next video